Okay, how y'all doing? I'm over here in Wirecast, and a lot of people be asking about ISO. ISO is when you film in one camera and you're recording another camera. Now, first of all, your system has to be capable of doing this, so I recommend a computer that can keep up with, say you got three cameras coming in, and you want to record one while you're live with another one, so you may want to go back later and edit and make something different out of that particular project. So I'm gonna show you how that's done. In Wirecast, they have what you call replay and ISO. So we're gonna do a tutorial on ISO today, and we're gonna do one later on Instant Replay. So in order to set up an isolated camera that's recording in the background, you go to replay, ISO, and you hit configure. Now, you see this menu here, say output list. You see down at the bottom, it say add ISO. Now, you can add a capture source or you can add a shot. So if I want to add a shot, I will be adding a shot as far as our timeline or I will be adding a camera source, as you see, capture source. So I got a black magic and a FaceTime. So all the cameras that I'm using will be listed here and I can pick one. So I'm using black magic as my main camera right now. So I want to ISO my FaceTime. So while my black magic is live, my FaceTime is recording in the background. Now, another thing, when you see shot, instead of camera, you see cameras grayed out. So just let's cancel this for a minute. So one of these shots, I could ISO in the background. So if I had another camera on a particular shot or whatever I want to have on there, a movie or pre-recording or something, it would be also recording in the background while say I'm talking or giving a tutorial or something. So let's go back to ISO so you can get the full gist of configuring an ISO. Okay, so we're going to go back to add ISO. I'm going to add a capture source, which is going to be my FaceTime camera and I could say uh, this is the size I want the video 1280 by 720 I want the audio to come in now I can erase the audio since I already have audio coming into my recording so that's what I'm gonna do because I'm already have my audio and then I want the quick time and you can pick different settings here see 264 uncompressed audio and then you can pick the quality and then you can pick uh, what folder you want to go in and then you can configure the ISO for, for replay. So you can do all these things right here in ISO. Now, if I wanted a new file every four hours or minutes, I would come here and then I would click on this particular thing. But I want a single file. So I want this one file to be the same. And down here we can create a shortcut keys and know what they are. Now, if I want to change the file I want to go to, I would hit this browse right here. And once I got this set up, as far as whether I want capture source or shot, I just hit uh, uh, OK. And now, right here, right up at the top where you see ISO, once I click that, you'll see it turn green. See it's turning green? So even though you see me over here in this other screen talking, my FaceTime camera is recording in the background. So we're going to do a couple seconds of this. And then I'm going to show you how that FaceTime camera was recording in the background. And you're going to probably see it in green screen or whatever I got it set to as far as how that camera is coming into the computer. So if I want to use it later in an edit program, that's what I would do. So that's pretty much it. How you ISO and Wirecast. Now, you have a lot of different types of equipment and software that have ISO in it. But remember, you have to have the CPU to be able to keep up with whatever that ISO is. So if you got two or three cameras running at the same time. Sometimes what I do in Wirecast, I minimize my screen, which also saves uh, processing power. And it depends on what you're trying to do. So as you see, we finished with our ISO. So now when I finish with my ISO, I can go over to my finder. And in my finder, I'm going to type in movies. And you're going to see that ISO in this particular file. 
So once we find that ISO, we can show you exactly what that particular movie is, which we'll show you in this program and show you a little piece on how to line it up on the timeline with the footage that's pre-recording right now. Hey, I'm Dan Land Pro. Don't forget, Steppers Express, YouTube.com. Make sure you have subscribe, hit that like button. How to use ISO in Telestream Wirecast. Peace.